Hey everybody, it's me Sandy and I'm back with another nail art video. This week it's going to be some fun shamrocks for St. Patrick's Day. But before we get started, if I could just ask you to do me a huge favor and go down and hit that like button as well as subscribe and hit post notifications so you can find out when I upload a new video. So now let's get started. So we're going to get started with a peel off base coat and this time I'm using Madame Glam and it is the first time I'm using her, their peel off base coat. It is water based so we'll see how it goes. And I just want to apologize for any noise you may hear in the background. We are having a roofing project done at our condo right now and they're putting up the scaffolding and there really is no good time to do this. Anyways, you can see I do still have nail extensions. Um, I did redo them and beef them up a little bit so that they looked a bit better. I mean, I, they still need work. I am not a nail technician and I was doing them myself. I am still doing them myself. But uh, anyways, we'll get this coat of Madame Glam on and then we'll be right back. So now that my base coat is all dry, I'm just going to show you the colors we're going to be using today, which is Four Leaf Clover from China Glaze and French Tip from Color Club. And you can see I've already done my um, right hand off camera. I always like to do that one first, just in case it gets a little messy, me trying to use my non-dominant hand. I am painting my feature nail first. I always do that so that I don't accidentally forget to paint my feature nail. Not like that's ever happened a few hundred times. Okay, maybe in a hundred. I do exaggerate a touch, but it always is easier for me to paint my feature color first and then go on to the color on the rest of my nails. I had some trouble with my first coat of French Tip from Color Club. I don't know why. It just seemed to be kind of gloopy. I don't know if gloopy is a word. It's a word for me. Um, I did, for the second coat, add a bit of nail polish thinner into it and it seemed to go on a bit better. But all in all, I wasn't too thrilled with it. I seem to not have good luck with white nail polishes. And I'm also getting used to how my nails aren't as flat as my natural nails are. So it looks like I'm just learning how to paint my nails. Honest, I do know what I'm doing. Maybe. So I am going to put on two coats of both colors before I put on a quick drying top coat prior to stamping. So I'm just going to get that done and then I'll be back. Now that my polish is dry, it's time for a quick coat of Sesh Feet. I do like to put on a coat of top coat before I start stamping because I just think it gives a much better surface for stamping, especially if you're using any glitters or anything that has any texture to it. I'm not this time, but I think it just smooths it out anyways, and it's just a really good step. So 
So I'm going to be using my new stamping plate from What's Up Nails called Spring Elation. And on my white nails, I'm going to put on some green shamrocks. And on my feature nail, I'm going to put on that wonderful Celtic sign. So I just gave the plate a bit of a clean. I have a great cotton ball picker upper from Twinkle Tea. I love it. I'm going to be using my stamping polishes from um, Clear Jelly Stamper. I'm going to use that beautiful white and this really great green and as usual all links will be in the description box. So I'm just going to turn my stamping plate around. I'm going to start off with my feature nail but by turning the plate I can see it a little bit better and it's a little bit easier for me to use. And I'm going to place a generous amount of my white stamping polish over top of that Celtic design. I do use quite a bit of stamping polish because I just want to make sure it gets in there, I, especially with my white. I find it's quite thick. I probably need to put some lacquer thinner in there as well. And I just scrape it in good to make sure that the design is completely covered. I'm going to roll my stamper and uh, take off the parts I don't want with some scotch tape. I know a lot of people use a lint roller, but I find scotch tape a bit easier. And then I'm just going to push that onto my nail because with the gel overlay and extensions my nail is more curved I am going to have to just push it down and kind of roll it on there just give it a good smooge into there another word by Sandy and uh, just press down any parts that didn't quite stick down like I said my white is quite thick I don't know why the white's done that me and white polish stamping polish regular polish doesn't seem to matter so anyways then i'm just going to clean up the areas around it with one of my cleanup brushes i have two i have a really nice uh, kalinsky brush that one i'm using there from twinkle tea and then i have a wider brush from sally beauty that i got that i find quite effective for larger areas but i think that turned out pretty good so I'm just going to give my stamping plate a clean and I'm just using some regular very low acetone polish remover. Nothing with too many moisturizers in it to clean my stamping plate. I love that cotton ball tool. Using it to clean my stamper means I'm not ruining the rest of my nails uh, with the polish remover. I also have already cleaned the jelly stamper head off with some scotch tape so it's ready to go. So now we're going to get started with the shamrocks and I'm just putting some polish on there. Yeah, I know I use too much. I'd rather have too much polish on my stamping plate than not enough. I will find a happy medium one day, but today's not the day. little trouble deciding which nail to stamp my first design on so I chose my thumb and then I had trouble deciding which way to arrange it so by the time I did some of the stamping polish had dried and you'll see here after I stamp that not my whole nail got covered and you know in stamping sometimes a few mistakes happen I did try using some clear polish on the stamper to try and get it on there and what I actually ended up doing was stamping a couple little different shamrocks separately and filling them in to the missing area. No biggie, it's just a mixed up little design of shamrocks. It wasn't like everything had to line up and even though I was using a clear stamper I did not line up the fix per se um, very well. But you know what? It's art and art is messy and art is just how you want it to look and in the end I think it turned out fine. So after fixing up the design on my thumb, I just cleaned up my stamping plate again with some nail polish remover and my stamping stamper head with some scotch tape and just carried on with the other fingers on my left hand.
what's really interesting here now that I'm doing top coat, now that everything is dry, I had issues with the green running and it's really weird. My design didn't smear, but for some reason on my feature nail, when I went over with my top coat, even though I floated my top coat and didn't run the bristles across, the white stamping polish went green. So I don't know why that happened. I did my left hand, sorry, my right hand with the Sesh Vite, and then I moved over to the China Glaze fast forward for my right hand to see like if it would do it on there. And again, the white nails with the green stamping was fine, but when I got to my feature nail, for some reason, even though I did not smear my design or drag my top coat brush through the green stamping polish, my nail, my green nail with the white stamping, the white went yellowish green. So I have no idea why it did that. I've never had that problem before and maybe it doesn't show up that much on here but they are definitely the white is definitely a greenish yellowish green and I have no idea why. I'm completely flabbergasted. So I'm really happy with this design, even with my top coat issues and my messing up my left thumb a little bit. I'm really, really pleased with how this turned out. I definitely am going to be using that stamping plate again. So I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And if you could remember to please go down and hit that like button if you haven't already, as well as subscribe and hit post notifications. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.